Hey riders, this is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity and I am back with just a little quick video of uh, some parts replacements that I got from Lafon. Now everybody knows from the accident when I fell uh, this peg right here got bent. I can't put my arm on it but it got bent back a little bit. It's repairable but they were nice enough to uh, go ahead and send me a replacement on here. I'd like to thank uh, Texotic Motorsports, which is where I bought my uh, Lafon. It's off of Fondren in Houston, and uh, he pled a good case for me to get some replacement parts. Uh, the damage wasn't too bad, but if you look, here's a new one. So I'll try to replace this one-armed. Uh, at the same time, also my clutch lever, the uh, the metal right here that was on the bottom, it uh, where the lever connects, it bent and I couldn't get it to bend right back and then all of the top of the thing got scraped. Now, it, the, the safety feature where it bends up, uh, it worked, um, but still it didn't break off. It got scratched up real bad and bent, so uh, it didn't really make that much of a difference. But I did like the way these levers worked and I did like how fully adjustable they are. Uh, if you also look, there's a little bit of scratches right here uh, and then the mirror is, uh, well, for all intents and purposes, this is useless now. All this stuff got bent and ground down. Uh, and then if you look on the front, the headlight, which is plastic, it got scratched real deep. And I went ahead and uh, did a 150 grit all the way down to 2000 grit and then polished it uh, smoothly. And I haven't got to the last part where I polish it, but I should be there soon. Uh, this is just a quick video to show uh, me doing replacements on these parts. Uh, and then once I'm done, at some point in time I'm going to remove all the plastics. I did buy some paint for the bike. Uh, it is a, it's like a candy red, like a darker candy red. Uh, I'm going to do as much plastics as I can, but mostly what I want to do is the tank cover, this, the, the piece down here on the side, and the, the back part right here. Uh, if I have paint left over, I'm going to go ahead and do the front uh, wheel cover or the front uh, splash guard or whatever you call that and then the plastic up at the front if I get a chance, if I have enough paint left over, but we'll see. Anyways, uh, here we go. Replace some parts. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's 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 crooked and bent. But I'm gonna go ahead and do my best to try to salvage this so that I have spare parts. You never know. It is back on and it looks like it's fit well. This part was a little bit bent, but I bent it back. And there's not as much play on here as I thought there would be. Okay, so here's the peg. Here's the peg and it is straight. I went ahead and Loctited everything because last time I didn't Loctite this stuff was falling off. This was loose. Uh, I went ahead and locked these two also. Everything is back exactly the way it was. I forgot there's a little spacer behind here. A little red anodized spacer in there. But I went ahead and took it off and put it back on. Uh, and when I was talking about Loctite is this isn't the original 
lever for the brake side. Uh, I had I went to the hardware store and bought a sleeve, a bolt, uh, a nut, painted it black, and then put it on here. Now, in the end, this worked out great because uh, it's a little bit longer and I can stick my foot a little bit more of an angle to, to press it. And if I ever wanted to try to do wheelies again, it would be perfect for that particular situation. But I can put my foot on the brake better. Uh, if you want to look at the headlight, here's the headlight. Yes, it looks foggy, but there were deep, deep, deep scratch marks into here. Like really deep, like, like this. If you can see the scratches up here, this way. Went ahead and sanded those down and uh, got it pretty smooth. I just need to finish the polishing process. I just haven't got around to it yet. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the little uh, repair pieces for the bike. I went ahead and gave it a good start. I uh, called my brother to see if he'll give it a ride. I'm going to call some other people in Northwest Houston Mini Motos if they'll drive it around the block for a little, for a little bit or take it somewhere uh, to give it a little bit of fun and uh, let it run for a little bit, as well as the, uh, the ruckus. But anyways, uh, there we go. No seat, of course, but she's still beautiful as ever. Just gotta do the paint uh, whenever it comes in and uh, that'll be my project while my arm is disabled anyways thank you for watching and i will see everybody next time